some right into the side of this can. I'm just going to add the word can in red. Um, but to know where to put it can be a bit tricky. So Photoshop allows you to create some painting overlays. We've come to 3D. Let's create a new layer first. 3D. Create painting overlay. And you can create a wireframe. Or you can create normals or shaded. Let's go with shaded and let's put this there. Turn off them layers, get our text tool. Now if you look closely at this um, shaded painting overlay you can see here the shape of part of the can. So if I was to flip this round you'll see that this is the top of the can so we can determine by that that we want to put our word in there but we also want to turn it round if we were to flip this image round we would actually have this the right way up with regard to the can if you see this side being the top of the can one side two sides and then the word can so let's close it save it get a move tool and there you can see the word can lighten it up so we can see it a bit better and I'm going to come to the label material and to that I want to add a reflection now there's two different ways you could do this you can add a reflection as a static reflection on the can and you can do this by adding a texture to the reflection property so we can go load texture and let's choose maybe this one here open and you can see that it's created this reflection and as I say as we turn and move this it just stays static I think we can do better than that though so I'm going to remove that texture by clicking on it and go in remove texture and I'm going to come down to environment and I'm going to go load texture let's load this texture here and I'm going to take the shine out and turn the reflection up take the bump down and now as I move this can it interacts with the environment so the environment is being reflected of it and it looks more realistic you can also add the bump maps so I'll show you what that is let's remove our environment and take our reflection down come to the bump and this time we're going to go new texture make sure it's the same size as our document 1000 by 1000 click OK and then we're going to come to bump and we're going to go to edit texture and then to this I'm going to go filter noise add noise make it monochromatic so black and white click OK close it save it and then turn the bump up and now you will see that it's got texture to it based on the bump map which is the document we created here um, one tip when you're creating these um, bump maps reflection maps is to create them um, with smart filters or as a smart object so they're easily um, changeable um, not like I've done here for demonstration purposes other things to take in mind are 
when you've finished editing your object you want to render it the render can now be found under 3D render and that will render it to stop it just press the space bar um, it can take quite a while depending on your machine another thing is you can also create a cross section let's get rid of that bump map let's just remove the texture altogether um, and click on the scene option choose cross section and you can and basically that will create a slice across your object um, depending on these settings here so the opacity just controls the opacity of the slice so the visual representation of the slice so if I move it to the side this here it will get darker and lighter uh, this plane you can choose to see the visual representation of that slice or not we'll leave it as so and then you can offset it like so the tilt basically tilts that plane and then use the offset to go through it and you can choose to slice it in the X the Y axis so cross like that and we could get that so it's a bit more straighter and then offset it like so or in the Z axis so it goes from forward to back back to forward like so this can create some quite cool animations if we come to there's loads more to talk about we can talk about lights and the different lights and different options there um, we can talk more about materials and how to create materials I think I'll show you that quickly let's say that we wanted to put a new material on this label so here you see we have some default materials let's pick one this black or maybe this red um, but what about if you wanted to create create your own material well you can do that let's create a new document and let's come to let's press D to get our default forward and background colors fill turn this into a material we want to first turn it into a 3d object so we're just going to turn it into a postcard and then on the 3d panel we'll come to um, the material itself which is the background and because that's what the layer is called background and up here we're gonna click on this little flyer choose new material and we'll just call this demo MT click OK and now that material appears as the last material in your uh, material options um, if we go back to this document we can apply that material to this can now like so until then thank you for taking the time to watch